Hello guys and welcome to this video about proton pump inhibitors. So proton pump inhibitors uh, are developed in the 1980s with uh, with uh, omprazole first introduced in the 1988. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the mechanism of action of these drugs. Uh, the different agents in this group and the difference between them uh, and the clinical uses and also the adverse effects. So let's start. So for the mechanism of action of these drugs, so proton bomb inhibitors are pro drugs with intercoating. The intercoating help them survive the acidic environment of the stomach. Uh, and they get to the intestine to get absorbed into the blood. And they work on the parietal cell in the stomach where they are converted from broad drugs to active drugs. Uh, and they work uh, by irreversibly inhibiting the gastric hydrogen potassium ATPase, which is the final step of acid secretion in the stomach. And I, I will explain this more in the next slide. Uh, and that's why proton pump inhibitors are the most effective at inhibiting gastric acids because they inhibit the final step. Uh, and they have short, short health lives, which is around 1.5 hours in the blood, but acid inhibition lasts up to 24 hours because of the irreversible inactivation of the proton pumps. So in this figure, this is the parietal cell here, here. And this is, we have here the stomach lumen and the blood. Uh, so uh, parietal cell, from the meta metabolism of this cell, we get CO2 out. And CO2 is going to uh, is going to uh, add up with the H2O, which is the water, and is go going to form the H2CO3, uh, which is for broken down into the H plus the hydrogen ion and the HCO3 minus. So the HCO3 is going to go out to the blood in, in, uh, in exchange with the chloride here. Uh, and the hydrogen ion is going to be secreted into the stomach lumen and the chloride is going to be uh, also secreted here to form the uh, hydrochloric acid which is the what what is make the stomach lumen have uh, acidic environment uh, and proton pump inhibitors work on this channel here they uh, they block this uh, this uh, H uh, hydrogen uh, potassium ATPase, so there would be no hydrogen uh, are secreted into the stomach, and this leads to inhibition of the of the acid secretion, and will lead to the effect of the proton bomb inhibitors. Yeah, so that's it for the mechanism of action. Now, uh, we have six uh, proton pump inhibitors agents until this moment. So we have omprazole, ismoprazole, uh, lenzoprazole, dixlenzoprazole, and rabiprazole, and finally pentoprazole. Uh, and omprazole is the most widely used one. Uh, and rapiprazole uh, has more rapid onset than the other proton bomb inhibitors. And uh, omprazole and lensoprazole have a greater potential for drug to drug interactions. Uh, now, for the uh, clinical uses of these drugs. Uh, so, 
Dersin drugs are used in the gastroesophageal reflux disease and the erosive uh, esophagitis. And they are the most effective agents uh, of treatment and they used mostly as first line for symptomatic uh, people who have GERD. Uh, and also they are used for the peptic ulcer disease and they provide symptomatic relief and ulcer healing for duodenal ulcers and gastric ulcer uh, ulcers in lesser extent. Uh, and they work for the H. pylori infection as part of the, of the treatment protocol. Uh, they help uh, to eradicate this bacteria because this bacteria loves to love the acidic environment while PPIs are going to decrease the acid and lead to eradication of this uh, infection. And they used in the side associated ulcers uh, for patients with ulcers caused by nesides, proton pump inhibitors will provide ulcer healing and nesides should be stopped if the patient have ulcer because of that. But also uh, PPIs are provided as prophyl prophy prophylaxis with the use of the nesides. Uh, so just to make sure that uh, ulcer does not develop. In, in those patients who take nesides. And they used in the GIT bleeding due to ulcer. Uh, and they are given in high dose with GIT bleeding. Uh, that's uh, around 40 milligrams twice of amprazole or, conti or continuous intravenous infusion to raise the stomach uh, pH to enhance coagulation and ulcer healing. Uh, and they used in the non-ulcer dyspepsia also. And they also used in the gastrinomas and hypersecretory conditions. Uh, there is a high secretion of acid that lead to peptic ulceration in these conditions. Uh, and high doses of proton pump inhibitors would have a great effect because they would decrease the acid and would they uh, decrease uh, the, the effects of the acid on the stomach and the esophagus. So now, finally, for the adverse effects of these drugs. So we have nausea, diarrhea, headache, and GI disturbance. And this happened in 1.5% of patients. Uh, and we have also decreased effectiveness of some of the drugs like clobidogrel, which is an, an anti-platelet anti medication that's used for cardiovascular diseases. Uh, and it is one used with, with omprazole and ismoprazole. Uh, they will be there will be decrease in effectiveness of clobidogrel because omprazole and ismoprazole inhibit CYP cytochrome B450 to C19, which is involved in converting clobidogrel to its active metabolites. And they increase the risk of fractures. That's because uh, acid inhibition uh, our acid is involved in the absorption of calcium and some other minerals that are important for bone remodeling and uh, bone-like development. So when the acid get, get inhibited, there would be less calcium and less min minerals, which lead to increased risk of fractures. And there is decrease in vitamin B12 absorption for the same reason because acid is involved in the uh, absorption of the vitamin B12 and PPIs will decrease the, the absorption of this uh, vitamin. And they increase the gastric cancer risk. That's because 
when when BPIs are used, there would be inhibition of the acid secretion, but there would be increase in the gastrin secretion. The gastrin have a, prolif a proliferative and uh, effect on the stomach, which leads to bulb formation and would lead to gastric cancer in the long term. And that's it for this video, guys. Please like this video and subscribe uh, and also comment. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and goodbye.